Hello guys, so part two. Sorry it's a little bit noisy out today because um, they're building a new building uh, just literally across the street. Uh, but yeah, so here right now you can see pretty much what I've done already. Um, so the main inlet manifold is off. Uh, some some uh, injection, uh, injector cables there. <coughs> Um, yeah, so the main uh, the the main bulk of the work is done. Um, I removed all of the um, there's a pipe there. This one here uh, removed the bolts from that, and uh, the uh, valve that sits on the back of the cylinder here, and also the exhaust bolts there. Um, but obviously, with this. Uh, head I can't get to the exhaust manifold bolts which are down there so I'll leave this on and uh, bring the whole thing up all at once um, but the tool the tool came today uh, for removing the head bolts uh, if if you really want to know what tool this is it's a M10 M10 you can't really see it because of the sun it's so M10 um, and it's star shaped um, but because of its, high, uh, its length uh, I have to remove the cams which is a bit annoying um, I didn't really want to have to do that but nevertheless it has to be done now so I have to do that I'll show you down here down in the in the problematic port. No, you can't really see much. Um, yeah. So you can just see. Hold on, let the camera focus. There we go. See the. It's damaged right here. You can see it just on the camera. You can see bits of metal everywhere. Um, can't see in the cylinder right now, obviously. But that's what it looks like from the outside. Um, when I've got the head off, I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. That's pretty much it, so I'm going to get this head off and uh, hopefully we will come good. We will see what it's like afterward. Alright ladies and gents, so we can see the issue here. Uh, don't mind the uh, water in the cylinders that's because I lifted the um, lifted the head off and tons of water came out anyway so let's have a look here what do we have we have a two valves which I pushed out by mistake but look at that bent and we have another valve here which is the exhaust valve and it's completely destroyed. Weighs a ton though, it's quite heavy for a little valve. Um, and an absolutely battered piston. So, uh, we can see here there is a bit of scoring on the wall here. Gouging. I don't know what it's like on this side, maybe it's the same also. I'm hoping I'll be able to it is really flipping big. Mm. Let me do some assessing. Do some assessing. Maybe. Might be able to get away with a hone. It looks awfully bad though. <laughs> um, if I'm honest. Ah, it'll be alright. I'm sure we can fix it. Let me take this gasket off. This gasket's been on this the whole entire life of the car. Would you believe that? Oh, it's stuck on this peg. Oh, there we go. All right. Hmm. So I can give this a clean. Put the new piston in. It does look awfully bad. I'm going to do some cleaning and assessing and blah de blah de blah and then we'll see Wagwan 
whether man and man's can fix this or what. I'm hoping though, because this has cost a lot of money, you know. And I thought you might be interested. This is the old head. Good. 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 Oh! Oh dear. What a state. So, yeah, valve. God, that is properly, properly destroyed. Great big gouge in there. It is huge. I can literally get my whole finger in there. It's an absolute mess. Stay to that. I can't even get this valve out. Oh, there we go. There's the other one there, in there. Mm. So I have to take the exhaust off of this one, put it on the new one. But before I can do any of that, um, I need to wait for my honing tool. Um, hopefully I can get this honed. Um, we'll see. But yeah, it's an absolute mess. Jesus. Alright. It is what it is.